Welcome to Inside the Studio with A and B Illustrations. I'm Anne Marie, um, and today is all about tips and tutorials. One of the most frequently asked questions I have is how to take a scrapbook paper that measures 12 by 12 and print it at home, if they can print it at home, if it can fit into eight and a half by 11. And some people have experienced um, distortions in the paper. Uh, so when you stretch it, it just stretches all funny. And um, the other question is, how, can they shrink it down to a different size so they don't use as much ink cartridges, cartridges right? So um, yeah, they could print out in six by six or whatever format, just cut it out and then, and then uh, you know, use it to do a card or, or a, a layer of some kind in the um, in their project that they have. So, yes, one, yes, you can print from home, and I'll show you how. All right, so let's make sure everything's okay here. Now, I've opened up my Word document, and I want to insert uh, a paper. All right, I go on Insert, Tab, Pictures, Picture from File, and what you would do is you would go into my files that I've sent you or that you've bought and you've downloaded. Uh, wait a second. Desktop. And papers. Here we go. Now, a trick I have to visualize my papers, because now it's just names, right? I'll click on it, press my space bar, and I can see right away the papers I have. If I press on my down arrow, what happens is I'll be able to visualize all the papers in that folder, which I think is really, really cool. It saves a lot of time. All right, so this is number one. So I'll insert number one. Okay, now when I pull on the corner anchor, my paper will um, zoom out, become bigger, scale up if you want, but it will not distort. All right, if I go undo, now if I pull in the middle, for sure it will distort and will look awful. So you never pull it from the middle. Okay, now, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back and pull completely, and I'm gonna go further than needed. Like I know that invisibly, you can see that it'll spread out towards the bottom and on the right side. Now. As you see, it like snaps back into position, which is not a good thing. Now, if I go to size and position, text wrapping, in front of text, okay, I'll be able to move it. There you go, it's as simple as that. I have a full blown 12 by 12 non-distorted image into an eight and a half by 11. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to push this a little further and I wanted to know if I could put a transparency uh, in front of my papers because I had seen one of the girls uh, do a, um, a craft and the papers seemed too dark and too overpower uh, overpowering when um, they put a clip art on top of it. And so I said, well, this is a good way to test your paper before you print it, right? Because if you have, let's say I put a, a bunny rabbit on this it'll be all the same values of colors because usually when I make a paper uh, pack and a clip art pack, I, I make it so that it matches, right? But let's say you want to make a, a card or a scrapbooking paper and you want that to be more subdued in the background, there has to be a way to do it before you print it. And instead of having like an acetate or a vellum or something that you'll put over it or a transparent piece of paper, why not just do it and print it out that way? Well, I found a way to do it, which I thought was really exciting. It's in transparencies. So as you see, look, I can, I can have different levels of transparency. Like it's not in increments of 10% or 5% or 1% like the programs which I create in, but nonetheless, it really does an incredible, incredible job. So let's take a, let's see how uh, it'll make that much of a difference when I add a clip art to this pack. So what I'll do is I'll insert a picture, picture from file. I'm gonna go into my other folder, which was the PNGs, color bunnies, and okay, there we are. So let's say I'm gonna take, um, no, not that. Let's say I'll take, uh, don't I have, yeah, the girl. She's number 16. All right, 
So I'll insert her inside. Now she's a transparency. I'm going to go size and position, text wrapping in front of text. Okay. Okay, that didn't work very well. Uh, and why is that? Hmm. The joy. Oh, because this was in the front. Text wrapping behind text. There we go. Now, she pops out, which is really cool. But if I click on um, my paper before and I have transparency and I put it, you see how it all blends in together and it's sort of mishmashy and, you, and she doesn't pop out at all from the paper. So when I found this, I thought, wow, this is really cool. Because even if you print it separate and you get them cut out on Cricut or whatever other cutting machines, well, at least you can like sort of visualize it before and print out the paper to the um, to the transparency that you need. No, I think it's the this one. I like that one. There we go. Isn't that cool? Anyway, hope this helps you out. I like learning new things. I get excited. <laughs> So I hope this uh, helped you to print your papers and look just a little bit further what you could do with just a simple uh, software like Word. Um, anyhow, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my new video channel, a and Illustrations. Also, you can follow me on Facebook and participate in the contest that I have on a weekly basis. Um, well, I always wish you awesome and inspiring day. Bye for now.